out for lunch, hey? Sometimes. Depending on the ladies. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't the start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting.
Good morning. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Fine day to you. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! go! here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine idiot we showed those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side can't you go any faster and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us you did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe, if he asks. But, maybe not. Careful! So who do they say they were? 
Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of balls. Not a chance. Killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Hey, Arthur. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been okay. sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. How you doing, old friend? Fine. <coughs> it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way now of course there's gonna be casualties we're thieves in a world that don't want us no more we are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on we got the day it's nice out old jose says that there's a trick around here i reckon it's full of fit this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, yeah. you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. In front of you. Yeah, okay. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. 
time. Feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! The chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Hurry up, David! Faster, come on! What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. What's up? So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. No more, Deputy! <laughs> Idiot! Now get after the others, come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yep. Closer! Get us alongside it! See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Now he's throwing balls. Oh, oh, slow you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Oh. Oh. You bastard. That's enough. Damn it. Bastard! 
Get the hell away from me! Have this! Gonna be dead! I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir, I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Go! Oh! Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to 
be here. Now make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of the rebel gold. Marrying cousins or not marrying Arthur. That's all. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families... Arthur... You start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there? Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Don't think too hard. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kinda like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Gentlemen, follow me. This creek. It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Ah! Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vandalin, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. 
Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Chelonis. What a terrible thought. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <coughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for... Good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Get us a bit deeper. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Strong. What a good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but. You'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving. Slowly. On the water, so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Don't give up, Arthur. You'll get the hang of it. Got a bite. Got one. Ah, I should have had that one. You got something biting, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. They're nibbling. There he is. Something's nibbling. There we go. Damn it, I lost him.
That feels like a bite. Ha! Got ya! Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. You hooked him. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing, when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. Not swim to shore. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow... Even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Now reel him in, Arthur.
Well done. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. You got a bite there, Arthur. Nice, you hooked him. Good job, Arthur. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Hey. I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. <laughs> All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I said, girl, give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Taters got burnt and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners till we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we? Dance this round, 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 shall we go dance this round, round, round? Maiden is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round, 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 round. round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round around 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 around. All right. I think I. Well, I mean we. You're gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Just leave me alone, will you? 
Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> oh, hey, you there. Think you can help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once? I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Yeah. Oh, we're getting close now. go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Hmm. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day.
Went home. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. You got your mount? All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. this then. I guarantee repayment. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Try. Her den. We should leave the horses. Yeah, you all right there, boy? Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Thank you. 
won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. around with me, boy. She got him. Crap. Damn. Dead, dead. What? Better be rare. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming.
need something? What can I do for you? Been a pleasure doing business with you. Come on, pal. Thank you for your help. Easy now. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. Just get back on the horse. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. 
Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now. And you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. on this ridge. Hold! They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. There won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean. Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? 
Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! What the hell? job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. I should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun! Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my my nerves. 
I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Now you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. If you manage to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Hey, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. You don't need to aim at them. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Claw on at your eyeballs. You provoked them, Mr. Morton. They ain't proof. They're just wolves. Hey, is that all of them? You might have kept the wolves from the door. Come on. Snap out of it. You're safe. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to... Literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows. You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well... I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude, but no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I was just checking this equipment if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia phobia. Perhaps a wildlife photographer needs steadier nerves. Or a longer tube for this shutter bulb. Your uh, collector of health. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin, 
couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Roy, follow me. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. The Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there. Sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. That's from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Hey. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Easy. here and go the rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. 
Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. You know, I've been here before. Is that a problem? No, just didn't realize you meant this place. back there. Will you get a move on? Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big pot the alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right ah. here. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Watch it! They're coming out! to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. Tell us where you stash your money and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. You ever know what folks got stashed? <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this.
ain't never gonna get the hang of this. Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh... Well, uh... Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're oh. correct, oh. but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off. And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my own. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. There, sir. Churchyard's closed. Get out. <laughs> my, my. I guess I'll come back later then. That's good. Keep it up. Howdy. How's your work? Good fun. Fill it before a ball of Churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you. Uh.
Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff Gray. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now, listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? 
<laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Could try washing once in a while. Keep your eyes open. No, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Dangerous business, the life of a lawman, isn't it? Appears so. I'm just glad we got Archibald here to show us the road. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lamont State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Well, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now. Anyone we find here, we bring in a... Five, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. But she can have a fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. See one by the bridge over there?
this one, Bill? With pleasure. The last one, get him to the wagon. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. you make it real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> that. That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. No 
Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quiet. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we, are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Yeah. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Barely dug in a spur 
never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. Here, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> This way, bunch of smart Alex. How you get wind of this, old man? They only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, what was I talking about? Hey, 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 hey. hey. Hey! 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 So, like I was talking about. Hey! 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 Okay, hold up here. Now they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. 
Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Sack. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Mm. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Now shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! I ain't in Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. Oh, better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Uh. 
We should go give him a hand. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. 
We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Gwonk. Get out of here. Every man split up. Gwonk, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. 